Well, that was a hell of a beat down. So what do you think that is? Shorts covering and then shorten it back down? Or somebody got a little aggressive and then shorts pounded it. I don't know how they can keep doing this. You know, I suppose every place you look, it's like 47 million short. But uh, I think that's bullshit. They got to be at least 52, 50, 52 million into this for sure. But I was doing this out though. You know, you're back to that three days in a row, four days in a row. So once again, it's either got to make that turn up or it's gonna, they're going to do another leg down, you know. So they leg it down to 150 and then run four days across. I don't think they can. That's just me. I like saying positive, but the only catch is, is now, I mean, come on, they've been shorting this a long time from that run up. So, they're not getting, with the volume only at 10 million, they're not getting a lot of covers in there because there's just, there's just no way. Because even when, um, what was that this morning? Eighty six thousand or something. And you're up at oh no, what the hell am I doing? I'm freaking a week over there. Um so you're at two eighteen and it's I don't know, fifty three thousand or something. But anyway, it's not even what I'm trying to say is it's not even a million shares and it's boom, up to two nineteen. So if they're covering any kind of amount of shares, they have to nibble at it all freaking day long, and it still isn't going to amount to shit. So there's no way they're covering anything because nobody's selling, and it would drive the price up. So I know they've got to be at like 50, 52 million shorted. And the last time it ran to eight, I think they were at like 56 million shorted. So that was last year. The only thing is, is you know, it, it makes me, makes me, this shit here, it makes me wonder if the company's selling shares, you know. They made a deal with somebody to drive it up, and then the company sells off these shares. So once they get to a certain amount, then we'll see this take off. Yeah, but that's just, who knows, you know. Why they would do that, I have no idea, you know. That wouldn't be smart. I mean, people are cautious enough as it is from the last time he diluted shares, you know. But everybody always, I hear a lot of people talk about this shelf that he's got of shares. And, you know, for my sake, I think that he holds that shelf just because, like I was telling you in another video, that gives him total control then. Nobody can take it you know, the majority power away from them. Because if somebody really wanted the company, if they bought 51%, they would have controlling interest in it. So by him having that shelf, he'll always have that. So I, I don't know. I don't see him. With the progress that they're making, I don't see him diluting shares. But I mean, yeah, realistically, it's always a possibility, right? I think this is just shorting. Spent, somebody's spending a lot of money to keep this down. And I'm not so sure why. I see a lot of puts gathering and stuff like that, but there's a lot of January calls too and stuff. And all, all they're doing is they, they find ways to like hide shares in there and in uh, options, you know, and they use that as like collateral and stuff like that. So there's all kinds of shady shit they do for shorting, you know, like back when uh, the AMC GameStop thing, I think it was Citadel that was running, 
running shares out of the U.S. to some other country or something, and then, you know, they they get an extra two days or something to cover for for those shares or something. I don't I don't know if that's like the failures to deliver or you know stuff like that. But there's all these little loopholes for for the sh the short shares and stuff. I mean, you'd have to look that up. Don't quote me on any of that. But I mean, I'm just telling you that, you know, I, I remember hearing and reading about some of that stuff and all the goofy shit they did for, for short shares. Because everybody, it was dug into really bad because everybody said, oh, that's, you know, illegal short shares, illegal short shares. But... You know, when you dig in, what the hell is wrong with my thing here? But uh, but when you start digging in, you know, yeah, there's probably some illegal shorting and stuff going on. But there's all kinds of things they can do to extend that, the regular short shares out too. Like, for instance, uh, when they have warrants out and stuff like that, or when, when somebody's holding a warrant, they know those shares aren't going anywhere, so they can just produce those illegal short shares to that amount, knowing that those shares are coming out eventually. So those illegal short shares now become legal shorts once those warrants are used, you know? So it's like, it's just another way of, another way of getting short shares that aren't, really available you know I think that's how that works don't quote me on that my freaking cam software is being all ridiculous but I don't know it's not going to take much it's not it's, it's a lot lower than what it was on how, it, how high it's got to get before I think you'll see shorts cover. Because they're really trying to keep it down. So I think if... If this can make a push up to that... Back up to that 250. You know, pushing towards 3. I think you would see a cover. And this might make this loop. You know what I mean? This might make this circle again. Or it's going to make this, this loop here, or it's going to go flat and go down like it did this last time. Like this time here. We thought it would make this loop, and instead it's, it's coming down, you know. They brought it down this five days. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if we, if we zoomed out, you can see that there's a bigger loop. So it's like, you know, a loop inside of a loop. But anyway. That's just... This is just so weird. I mean, how many times do you see that? So I, I, I don't get that at all. But it did have some nice green bars. This is a five-minute chart. There's some nice green bars the rest of the day, though, so it was pushing back. It'd be interesting. Boy, we just, we've had some interesting weeks here with Fubo. But yeah, um, whoever said something in the comments there, yeah, NVIDIA is going to be a big one. You know, a lot of the market's going to follow NVIDIA if their earnings are good and everything, and vice versa if it's terrible. You know, you could see the market take a little bit of a dip. You know, I just think that whole market, I, I mean, it's just doing that cool off. You know, it's going to, you know, about 5 6%, 8%, whatever, that it'll run down. And then we'll be on that nice big trend going back up again, you know. And Michael Burrow or whatever the hell his name is, he's, he's fucking stupid. You know, it just, that's dumb. And then people get all scared because he made that prediction 
And that's what, you know, caused a lot of stuff. But it's like creating a, creating a sell-off or something, you know. Or, you know, he's just in cahoots with everybody else and that gives them a reason to sell it off, you know. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what happens. It's been a rough year. Wait till wait till elections come on. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be crazy. Trump gets back in. Who? We're gonna see a lot of green. We're gonna see a lot of green in the stock market. For sure. People will be banking. But we'll have to wait and see. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.